Tony S. Mirko for war by putting red flag in our community. Unikare of Orinkiti says, The Unikare of Orinkiti, High Chief Bamidele Fasui, a leader in the Ikiti state community whose residents protested against recent destruction of their farmlands by suspected Fulani headers and alleged hosting of a red flag, says Abiodun Neju about the apprehension in the community. And a question was put uh, to the unique area of Ikiti. And the question is, says, Your community has been in the news recently over allegations that Fulani may invaded and destroyed farmlands belonging to Lucas. What are the issues? He said, Let me start with the background. There is a farm settlement in Orikiti established in the late 50s as an agricultural establishment to provide work for school leavers and food for the people. In the early 60s, the place was booming seriously. I was in primary school then. There was everything needed there. It had about 86 houses. School leavers were employed and trained by the Regional Ministry of Agriculture. The crops being cultivated there were cocoa, citrus, rice, maize, and others. The main objective of the farm settlement in the western Nigeria was to investigate and later demonstrate carefully planned farming systems designed to attract young educated persons, particularly school leavers, to take up farming as a satisfying and lucrative means of livelihood. But gradually, the project collapsed because of the carelessness of the government. The old place became a complete mess. It was transferred to the old Ondo state government, which in turn transferred it, transferred it to Ikiti state. During the time it was with Ondo state government, nothing substantial was done except so nothing substantial was done there except that the University of Ife, now Obafemi Awolowo University, established a research center under the control of Ikiti state government. We hoped that the proximity of government seats to the place would enhance a lot of development there, but government after government in Ikiti has not done anything there. The headsmen took advantage of the fact that the place was lying fallow. That was why they came to use the place for grazing because it is a vast land. But how does the grazing of cattle there by Fulani headers constitute a problem in your community? He said the problem is their incessant destruction of our crops. When people cultivate crops at the stage when they should harvest, the headsmen we bring their cattle and destroy the whole place. They even go beyond the farm settlements to other private farms around. The farmland, the land there is vast. It shares boundaries with Ayede, Ayegbaju, Ikbere, Ido, and so many other communities. The place is large. That is why the herders feel it is okay for them to settle, to use them and settle there. So guys, uh, honestly, uh, with the situation on ground, one would think, okay, because the headsmen saw that the place is, you know, is nobody's using it, and they felt that they could just use, use it for their own stuff, and that is why they really occupy that, and they now put their flag there. But the issue is that the government came out and said no, and some people came out and said no. Oh, I, one of the government officials too said they. In the kitty seat, I, I saw the man sometimes last week or so, or some days back, saying, Oh, people are just trying to exaggerate this whole thing, that it's not what people think about, and all of that. But this is a monarch now in that uh, community and is giving details of what really happened. And just like I said, one would like one would have thought, Oh, because the place was just lying fallow, nobody was using it, and they just used that opportunity to get into the place. But I think from the explanation of this monarch, is that it's not as if maybe. People are not, have not been using it, but the way it also have been developed by the government, according to what he said, government after government have been coming and nothing has been done on that. Maybe that wouldn't have allowed them or given them that opportunity to have gone there in the first place. But when you look at the way and manner at which this uh, s men really operates, they don't even need a, a well-structured place. You no, know, maybe that will give them a signal that no, you are not supposed to go there, irrespective of how furnished that place is or how organized 
a particular land is they will definitely go there because from the monarch statements as well that even other private other private uh, farms they still go in there and take over the place okay if you are saying because the place you know was lying fallow and all of that that doesn't mean people were not still using that place what about a uh, other state that okay you know a uh, people individual individuals have their farmland and they are you know planting their crops and doing their farming when it is time for them to harvest these people will just bring their cow and they will eat up the, this thing. Are they not supposed to be arrested in the first place? Because you are infringing. And that is the area. The government has not been saying anything. Since the issue of Eruga and livestock, people rejected the whole thing. And the, the cases of where uh, farm uh, Esme have been destroying farmers' land and farmers' crops, government has not been saying anything. Even They don't even ar arrest them. But when, it's, uh, when the farmers or any farmer tries to retaliate or tries to fight back at the end of the day the blame will come on the farm farmer and the next thing the farmer will be thrown into jail and it does not even take time within how many days everything will be taken and they will they know they will judge it but really if these people have, have been arresting you know if they have been arresting them or if they have been arrested you know on many occasions i think they would have stopped all of these things they would have stopped all of these things and that is why you see that they are you know they are getting strengthened day in day out how can you be going to other people's farm and be destroying it and because the officials of the government or the spokesperson of the government Femi additional saying and some of that some of them that allowed them that because you don't want to give give them you don't want to give them the space because even from the president he said everybody they should learn to live with other people learn to live are they not living with other people have they had a, a situation whereby just you know in a in a residence in the residents, you see that the uh, people or residents of that place are just saying, oh, we don't want you in this place. Or uh, uh, somebody who is a full animal will go to a place and say, I want to rent a house. And say, no, they don't want to rent our house to you or what. That has not been happening. So why would you say people should tolerate them? They should learn how to live with people. This is, a, this is business. And a lot of people, somebody was even asking whether the place was leased to the full animal. SMA. And he said, if the place is not leased, to them that that means they have to you know tell them to leave the place of course they will never they, they, that is the problem if it is least it would have been a different thing because that is what people have been clamoring for get a designated place buy land put your stuff there and it will be okay for you everybody there will be peace in the land but the government feels that the only way that they can uh, um, settle this whole thing is by giving them some kind of fresher treatment taking money from the taxpayers' money to settle them. You know, you can imagine that kind of mentality. Kudos to those people who really raised that alarm that, no, we don't want this ruga. How can you say you want to establish a place or, you know, a special place for this Esme all over the country, all over the country, and they will have all these uh, uh, social amenities and all of that. Then what happens to the public, uh, whatever that we have, the public schools, the public uh, uh, hospitals, because they will tell you that they, they, that is their lifestyle. They move from places to places so that they will settle them there. If really you want to settle them in a particular place, why can't they use their money to do that? Because it's a private business. Like I said, kudos to those who really stood against that thing because it was not really a good thing. And since then, you've been, you can see the handwriting on the wall that the government is you know, going towards something that people have been suspecting and people do not really like. And you can see that the policies are not really masses friendly. So, in this case of uh, this AKT people, it's like they are handicapped. The government, when government is coming and government, government is pussy footy about this whole thing, what's, uh, 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 what more can the community people do? What more can the people do? Because in the first place, the government of the uh, 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 the government will downplay it. I mean, at the state level, because one of the government official. At the state level came out and said no people are just trying to exaggerate things and it is in their their in their i don't know it is in it is in them any little thing they will just try to downplay it that oh people are just trying to exaggerate it because they are not affected because people are those people who are affected are not uh, their family members every time they always like to downplay this whole thing well so if the government is not ready to do anything i don't know what the people can do of course the people are the ones that put the government there. But the unfortunate thing there is that 
most times the people don't even know the kind of power they have that they are more powerful than these people when people come out in their numbers and say no we don't want this and they are you know not that maybe coming out today after tomorrow you you'll be you will you know you'll be discouraged or you just relent and you not you know put your feet down and this is what you want before you know it they'll just like oh they will get tired and that is why they always get away with most of these things so if those people really feel that they are supposed to be there the farmers and the community feel that that is where they are ought to have been doing their thing and that was why the monarch was able to give a background of what has been happening in that place and for you to just come and you didn't even ask question and all of that and that is the arrogance in them they will not ask questions they just feel that they can just enter anyway just like i said apart from even a, a structured land or organized land that people are working because this one is like the the government say a, a land but what of bad individuals private uh, farms that these guys go to and just destroy the people uh, i can still remember a, 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 a case an incident that happened in a port a kukumba farmer at the end of the day they destroyed the mass everything the other crops they destroyed it and the man was angry and he started fighting them back unfortunately they killed that man so what can you say in that case recently again I don't even know in one of the states too. The farmer uh, uh, confronted him. The next thing, and the farmer, because they destroy all his uh, crops, he killed the cows. The next thing, they charged the farmer to court or they jailed him or gave him some fine to pay. You can imagine because he killed this thing. But reverse is the case when the uh, S-men, if they destroy the, the farmer's uh, crops and you know destroy their their business nothing will be done it will only be heard and nothing will be done police will not harass them it will not get to that level so that is why a lot of people are angry this a uh, this uh, how will i put it this discrimination and this a uh, 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 being biased and giving some people some kind of uh, 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 preferential treatment and when you are supposed to take up some cases you try to downplay it and you expect people not to insinuate you expect people not to say anything so guys that's just my own opinion concerning this and uh, let's hear your own take leave your comments below in the comment section